everything. coming to you live and direct <laughs> from my fucking bedroom. Where are we all? What room are you in, Stevie? Um, I'm front room so far. Front nice. room. I'm in uh, the washroom. It's the washroom slash office. So, yeah, you can change. Don't yeah, you know I've mean? got, got a, a computer set up and a fucking dog dog crate and a washing machine all all in the same room. And when like, you said washroom, I thought you meant bathroom. I'm like, how is a bathroom in an office? <laughs> Just having a shower. A joint room. <laughs> <laughs> no, Anything to avoid tax. We've got, we got one of these dry tax. buddies because of fucking cost of living look. Can't put the dryer on. <laughs> Can't afford it. Hang so on, you've can... just been talking about having a room specifically for washing, and now you're talking about a cost of living. <laughs> I'm in a fucking two up, two down here, and when the chances are you'll hear my little boy screaming in a minute. So I know my kids are being quiet. Actually, really. So we're, we're looking. What your at... little boy? My kids are being quiet, so we're looking there. Mm. We're looking there. Anyway, Stevie, um, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank Thanks you. For being there, and we were speaking earlier on on the phone. This is your first ever podcast that you've ever done. Yeah. Is it? I'm a, I'm a virgin, baby. Oh, nice. Well, thank you uh, for letting me and Tomo take you for... That doesn't sound Whoa. right, does it? Thank it's you for... Kind of uh, <laughs> thank you for coming <laughs> that <escalated. laughs> Yeah, that went from naught to fucking madness. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And overrated, everything was cancelled this week. <laughs> <laughs> How's life, mate? All good? I've not seen you yeah. for a while. Yeah, all good. A bit weird at minute. You know, for the past couple of weeks since release of Gallows, it's um, it's changed a bit. Mm. What's got What's gone on? As it is, because you're still working, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. but I've had people like stop me in the street. Oh, mate, <laughs> that is the most it? Is it surreal thing ever. You know, like because I've lived here all my life, and, and nobody's ever paid no mind. And now all of a sudden it's like, excuse me, have you been on TV? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have really you had any weird. free shit yet? Have you had anything for free? No. Me and Andy on the podcast, we always say that like, well, for me anyway, that's that's the, the best thing about being on the telly sometimes is that you get free shit. So when that starts coming in, that's when shit changes, mate. Yeah, oh, that's, well, that's fun. I'm all free stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what would be the you, ideal? What, yeah, what would be the ideal free thing? If you if you said to me, if I said to you, right, thank you very much for being a, a, pod, uh, a guest on the podcast this this evening, Stevie Bins, I'm going to give gift you anything you can think of. What would it be? Free. Well, I'm all for food stuffs. Mm. So just anything food. Well, I can take yeah. you out for a meal if you want. I'll do that anyway. Do not take me to Nando's. I know. Um... I've gone off it. You keep yeah. saying this. Are you not? Are you not it's a happened. fan either? Nobody on this podcast likes Nando's. No. Oh. Yeah. I never. I never got the fascination with it either. Is, is there like a Nando's you... where you live? <clears throat> no, there wasn't. There isn't. A yeah, there is. You went is to there? it. <laughs> where is it? Um, Bite Cinema. Did I go to the Nando's there? Yeah, multiple I did. times. I did. I did. <laughs> yes, I do remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what it was is because when I'm working away, I try and eat healthy-ish. So I think, oh, well, it's just chicken and rice. That's fine. Mm. And then I just, because I overdo it, that's it's just got a bit boring for me now. Mm. But, yeah, there's there's better alternatives, though, to Nando's. Like what? Um, My battery's low. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Have you got a charger? Roll that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a curry fan. Oh, you like curry? Oh, nice, nice. Curry she, fan, always. What's your go-to curry? Madras. Okay, okay, playing it safe. Mm. Madras ain't safe. <laughs> I like I them. Spa. I like, like, ma- I like heat, Madras heat, were. Man. Yeah, I'm thinking of a, uh, not Madras, what's the other one? Masala. Ch- masala's a bit more safe, isn't it? Like chicken tea yeah. for masala kind of thing. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Madras is a little bit hotter, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay yeah, nice. I can't do curry. You know, did I ever tell you, Stevie, about <clears> that time that, Shane gave me so much curry. Well, he bet me that I couldn't eat one of the hottest curries in Edinburgh. Did I tell you about this? No. So I was in Edinburgh at the film festival with Shane when I was about 15, maybe. And um, he bet me, I think it was 200 quid, that I couldn't eat the hottest curry in the curry house. And this is back, well, still am all about making money now. But I said, um, (laughs) I was like, well, it's 200 quid. It can't be that bad, surely. So I started eating it and it, it blew my tits off. (laughs) <laughs> um, so I'm sat there sweating my cock off in a, in a restaurant eating it and eating it and I was in pain by this point 
And I was like three quarters of the way through it. And Shane thought to himself, shit, he's going to do this, isn't he? So he said to me, if you just wolf it in quick, get it in you quick, it'll it'll go quicker. And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Started wolfing it in and it all just hit me at once and Ooh. spewed all over the restaurant. He didn't. Yeah. And then I managed to get outside and spewed out all outside in the middle of Edinburgh, Saturday afternoon, but it was at the top of a hill. So they, <laughs> uh, the guys who own the restaurant come out chucking water and it was just like <laughs> rice and chilies and that all floating down this hill. <laughs> it's fucking frank. Uh, on a Saturday afternoon, and he never gave me my money because I never finished it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's the rule, isn't it? You've got to keep it down. Yeah, well, yeah, you can't yeah, just I guess eat so. it and chuck up. Yeah. Oh, so you have to then eat it current. again. Yeah. Oh, god, <laughs> yeah, so that's put me off, Corey. I've never liked it since then. Thanks a lot, Shane, you prick. Forever, yeah. Um, uh, how many episodes have you watched up to now, Stevie? For anyone who's listening, by the way, who hasn't listened, um, Stevie plays uh, Mandy in the Gallows Poll, which is, what episode are we on now? Well, this is... Who? While we're recording, What's... two's out tonight, but it'll be three out when this podcast comes three out. out so when three's out comes Wednesday. Out, yeah. So you've seen how many, Stevie? I've seen them all now. Oh, you've seen them all? Because you went to the BAFTA thing, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So I got them sent the night before, just in case I got asked any questions, so I knew what I was talking about for once. <laughs> um, so I watched them all, but I was on my own. You know, like, so it's like when you hear yourself back in it and you hear your own voice and you think, oh, my God. And then you kind of get over it a little bit. So I kind of wanted to do it on my own and, mm. and deal with it and before I watched it with anyone else. So yeah. I'm, I'm up to date. I've watched them all. They're out there now. What was the experience like at the bath the night? I, cause you, I rang you. Did I, I spoke to you the day of or the day before? Day of. The day off, and you was you was bricking it a bit, weren't you? But I have to put it hardly. <laughs> um, <laughs> it were it were amazing. It was so so good, um, and everyone were really nice. And you know, I didn't really know what I was doing, where I was going, what I was supposed to say. And I'm one of them people where if you if you say just be yourself, you'll be fine. That has never once in my life worked out for me. <laughs> I don't know, mate. Shane Meadows put you in his new series on probably the biggest budget he's ever worked on uh, because of who you are. He Mm. he chose you because Mm. of who you are, which is why I always say to you on the phone, like, just go and enjoy yourself and by being yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's easier said than done though, isn't it? When you can't, when you're panicking and then when they said, Oh, you know, there's going to be questions that come in from the people there. I thought, Oh God, you know, because then I worry about what have I said, you know, you know, when you go out on, on, on source and then you get beer fear then don't you about going back to work next day it were like that yeah so oh, I was really? trying to answer these questions the best way that I could dead professional you know don't swear and but oh, then that. for about two days after I were like panicking <laughs> what do you say am I going to get in trouble <laughs> you know that's, that's it isn't it because like Tomo will go oh be yourself and that's good that's sage advice but then I'm the same as you I'm like no, if I'm myself, I'm going to be effing and jeffing on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be calling him a cunt and him a cunt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll yeah, there's be no a wrong with that, though. posture version of myself. Uh, that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck him. They'll be all right. <laughs> I don't know how well in that, pal. <laughs> ah, fuck him. Don't matter. I think mean, Stevie uh, enjoys acting, Tom. Oh, she wants to carry on doing yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? You have to wear... Uh... Tell, tell me what you did after. Because you, uh, did you say that you went... Did you say you went and got in bed with a, a Mackey's or something, or you had a burger or something, didn't you? You finished it after you'd, you'd had a couple of drinks. I went and got some noodles and went home. <laughs> nice, nice. So I was That's just so rock star. in my little hotel room in my nighter, because <laughs> I took a nighter, <laughs> full face of makeup looking dead glamorous, sat on bed with some takeout noodles and some chopsticks, <laughs> tumbling it in. I was starving. Oh, um, buzzing. It was yeah, that... really good, though. Yeah, and are you nice. happy with with like everything about the show and and the, like with the re- reaction of it and stuff? Yeah, I think I think that was one of like the unknowns for me because I've never been in this position before. So I'd done the first bit and we filmed it, but that was kind of like our little secret. We're the only ones that knew about it, and yeah. it was safe. And then once it gets released, it's everybody knows about that secret, yeah. and then everybody's watching it. 
And I think we all know what the internet's like, don't we, when you get people that, you know, want to have the say, and, and rightly so. Mate, all of the comments I've seen on the internet have been good about you. Everyone Really complimentary, space. so mm, I'm absolutely yeah. buzzing, because I've kind of prepared myself for in case that they weren't, you know, and, and people, because they could be quite cruel, can't they? Yeah, you know, yeah, once yeah. Once people get going. Um, so I kind of prepared myself for that. And so I've not really read too much online about it, you know, just bits and pieces that people have sent me. Um, mm. But yeah, really, really chuffed. And like the people that have spoke to me in the street and stuff, it's meant that they've, they've watched it, they get it, they've enjoyed it. So I love that. But it's not going to please everyone, is it? You never Nothing know. ever will, mate. Nothing ever will. Do you no. know what I mean? But and, and, and you're from Halifax, did we say before? Yeah. So that's pretty much like, I mean... In the show, brilliant by the way. Ten minutes I, up I, I the loved road. it. That's what I mean because in the show they talk about Halifax a lot, don't they? And obviously yeah. Calder, Calder Valley, and that's like around the corner, really, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. It's, like, how's that response been from sort of you know the the neck of the woods that it's set? <laughs> that's been quite. Yeah, it's been it's been brilliant because you know Halifax has been quite popular of of recent. Anyway, you know we're Happy Valley and mm. other bits Love and pieces Happy that have Valley. been. Yeah, that have been filmed here, um, and it's done a lot for the town, you know, you know. So it's it's brought money in, which is yeah. brilliant because you can put money back into it then. Um, so the response from like the people that I know, and it is only a little town. I'm not saying that I'm dead popular or old, but it, you know, there's not that <laughs> many of us here. Um, and and the people have been really chuffed with it, you know, oh, and, nice. and what it's about as well, because it's based on on true. On true events, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's like a bit of our history as well, not just a place for filming. It's it's about where we live. Yeah, yeah. it's quite it's nice been... to be around there, isn't it? When when we was filming and stuff up in Hepton Saw, and um, like you know, each morning we could go and see the grave of King David Hartley and Grace and yeah, all, yeah. all of the Hartleys. Like each morning we could go and see the grave of the people that we was playing every morning, and it was it, there was something quite special about it. And there was a lot of people kind of sort of brings it home a bit doesn't it yeah, yeah 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 and even so many years later there's still people visiting the grave and leaving coins on there do you know what i mean because of obviously the nature of what they did was clipping coins ah. and saved so many people by doing so so yeah it's amazing that still so many years later and i think the like the popularity obviously got injected more so when ben myers released the book but um yeah it's nice it's nice to see that people still care about it so it must be good for the locals to watch it as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. But you'd be surprised how many people don't know out about it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's weird that, isn't it? Like, like I, I always say that, like, British history is never really taught. Do you know what I mean? Like, no. I know loads about, like, you know, I don't know, the, the, the American Civil War or whatever that you kind of do see bits about. But, like, British... Because I'm from a little town in Manchester... And there's a um there's an old big old house near me in one of the local parks, and that's like one of the main battles from the English Civil War. And like yeah. you never really know about it until you can't. Do you know what not I mean? Not your like, local history, no. No, no. Why do we not like know this stuff? You know what I mean? <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's when, interesting. Go on, Stevie. First Sorry, one, man. first workshop that we went to, Shane were like, "Oh, you know, you're from there. You must know about it." So what? Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, how did that's... you find? Oh, go on. Sorry, Andy. Just I was going to say that's that's anything. that's going back to what Tomo was saying before. Like that's probably something that Shane would have found endearing, and that in it. Do you know what I mean? If you would have gone in and gone, yeah, yeah, I, I know. know oh, David it. Hartley, yeah. Oh, you know, <laughs> like Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it'd be like get the foot. But like the fact that you were honest and was like, I'm oh, fucking clue, mate. It's like that's the. I think there was something quite nice about the fact that. Us, like our characters never knew anything about clipping coins and we never really knew much about it. So we was learning as we was filming it. We was learning as we was going along, like as yeah. our characters was as well. So I thought that that was quite nice that like, again, like we're just going back to this is England. The My character, Sean, was learning so much more about people as the film progresses, as I was as the actor as well. So it's kind of nice to sort of learn on screen and then it then becomes that little bit more authentic as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is what Shane does really well, I think. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Um, we spoke just before Stevie about some uh 
subjects that we both, that you thought that was overrated. There was some. <laughs> there was one really really funny one, but we'll save that to the last if you want. <laughs> I think I know which one that is. Tom O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't, I'm offended as well, by the way. I'll just get that out there now. Never mind over it. It's like when you message me, you're like, I know there'll be a lot because I know you like them. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I know you like them. Narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. The first sort of how long we've been recording, 20 minutes, has been really tame from you. I don't like this. Uh, I don't like PR Stevie. I want brutal Stevie. <laughs> That's why we've got I you on. I want to get myself in bother. Oh, <laughs> fuck <laughs> it. It'll be all right. <laughs> Cancelled, cancelled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stevie, you think you should yeah. like one episode and then it just went. Yeah. It'd just be um, tonight, it'd just be yeah, you with a blurry the... face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, so are we getting straight into it? Are we, we going to get into yeah, it? Yeah, let's tell us yeah. about these subjects and why, yeah. So my first one, I think my first one is because I've got questions all right okay and not in right, a night, okay. not in a good way so my first is the gym so tomo you mentioned the gym the gym you oh. like the gym don't you yeah i do like the gym but you see, see just bear with me we're going to go on a journey now you and me okay so i started going back and i think it's like i fell asleep in like early 2000s and i've just woke up and i don't know what's going on so do you know what I mean? I so think I've, so. I think I've, I've gone you. in, and then I don't, I don't understand what's happened. I mean, the outfits, the culture, the supplements, pre-workout, creatine. I, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. And I'm confused, and I've got questions, and I've, I'm one of these people that falls down a TikTok hole for like five hours of your life at a time. Yeah. And the, is, it, is it called your for you page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff. So it's like loads of gym videos and stuff. So I've been watching them, you know, to try and learn a bit. Like, yeah, because you can learn quite a lot from stuff. social media and yeah, stuff, can't you? Can. Yeah, yeah, I find that quite handy. But then I come across like, you know, outfits. I'd, when did you go to gym? Why do you need to have like an outfit that cost you 90 quid yeah. with the world's smallest shorts to yeah. go? To, I'm going to sweat in it. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I don't be understand that. sweat that don't warrant paying that amount of money for some clothes. Mm. And everyone's got pristine <laughs> white trainers with pristine white socks. Face full of makeup. Full makeup. <laughs> I don't get it. It's it's crazy, isn't it? Because like I, I mean, I don't go to the gym as much as I should, but th- there has been times where I've like smashed the gym for like months on end, and I know what you mean because like. I think I started going to the gym like when I was about 16, like in school, because I was a big lad, you know. So I was like, oh, go. And back then it was just like a gym, like you were saying there, the early 2000s, it was just a gym. People yeah. were in there in the scruffs and they were getting on with it and all that. And now we've got one of them JD gyms facing my house. And like you say, you go in there and it is literally like, a catwalk in it like the girl even the lads yeah. nowadays are all in there in like fucking dead smart all this and all that and I'm like I'd go in in a pair of shitty shorts with maybe rips in them and all that like I'm fucking here to I'm not wearing my best what, clothes for the gym well but does it does that then become like a bit of a, a con, an incentive to so say I'm a young single lad and I go right okay well I'm going to go to the gym and I know that there's going to be fit girls there um, <laughs> I know that, you know, because that's what they are. So I'm thinking, yeah. well, if all these girls are looking really good in the gym, then I'm thinking, right, well, I've got to look good as well. Otherwise, they're never going to look at me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So they're thinking, well, I need to have these bright white trainers and I need to have this and I need to have that. Otherwise, these really pretty girls who are wearing all this makeup aren't going to look at me. So yeah. then it's like, at what point does that stop? Do you know what I mean? But then the other side of that is, like, my mum, for instance, my mum's, you know, a, a biggish lady and she's always... She's always like, I need to go and start the gym. I need to start the gym. Or she's always trying different diets and all that. And I'll say to her, go to the gym. She's like, oh, no, no. And she's quite scared of going, be- I think, because yeah. of that that reason. Like she it puts feels, you off. Yeah, she feels like she'd stand out like a sore thumb. And I'm like, I used to say to her, like, no, you'd be right. Like, everyone in there is just the same as you. You know, everyone's just trying to lose a bit of timber or put a bit of muscle on or whatever. But now, yeah, you're probably right. It's it is full of just yeah. Instagram. It's become a bit of a fashion statement, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it a has. bit of a statement. 
Mm. And I think when I've been watching like videos on TikTok and stuff like that, I think that's where it's kind of stemmed from, you know, these these influencers that are putting videos up saying, you know, if you want to look like this. And I think it's just that mentality. And I, I, I miss, I were asleep, I think. I definitely won't go to gym <laughs> when this yeah. culture came in. And then when I've gone back, you do feel out of place. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, there's promoting like all of these different supplements. And I just think, when did all of this happen? And yeah, I think, I think that just all stems really down to money and greed, though, isn't it? All that sort of stuff. But because essentially, I mean, I, I'm not a fucking PT by any means, or I don't know anything about really about nutrition. But essentially, the be all and end all of it is: if you want to lose weight, you you burn more calories than you take in over the day. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. that is that's science, that's it. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's science. Like if you if you if you burn off two thousand calories, but you only eat. I don't know, 1,500, sooner or later, you are going to lose weight if that's what you want to do. But then all these sort of supplements and things that come in, it just makes, it just complicates everything, doesn't it? And I don't know. I'm, yeah. I, I mean, they can't surely get away with selling it if there's not, if it's not helping, surely, because there must be, there must be regulations, think, that tests. Yeah. And... It's kind of like the clothes though, isn't it? Mm. So you can go, you can go Sainsbury's, for instance, and pick up a pair of gym leggings them gym leggings are going to do exactly the same as a pair of gym leggings that cost you 50 quid and one might cost you a tenner. Yeah. And I think it's the same with supplements. Mm. You know, it's it's about marketing, isn't it? And it's about making money. Yeah, I guess so. You can get so. a supplement for a smaller amount of money, but if you're a big brand, they're going to sell it in for more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you're buying it from, like, my protein or something, it's going to cost more than it would off, like, yeah. But then again, it all just, all just stems down to branding and shit like that, doesn't it? And that's what the that's you know, what it's become, hasn't it? Like you're saying, that's what it's become. That like you've got to be in there with the smartest gym clothes. The you've got to have the my protein bottle. You've got to have the Apple headphone. All that kind of stuff, and look the. I've part. got both of those things you've just said. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have as well. Overrated. I don't go to the fucking yeah. gym. <laughs> I think just as well though, looking what? at like the average age in the gym now. It's a lot younger than, yeah. than I remember it being. Again. And I just think when I look at some of the, the young people that are in there, I mean, it's great that they're in there and, you know, and they're paying attention to the body and stuff like that. But the pressure that it must put on parents, mm. you know, to make sure that they've got all of these different things as well. I just think at the minute as well with people being under so much pressure money-wise. Yeah. But if you think about how much money they're putting just into the gym stuff, how much money they're putting into a fucking, how much money they're having to put into a pair of Balenciagas and all the ridiculous well, yeah. clothes that everyone's wearing. I like mean, I, I, guess... was walking, I was in flannels the other week and I saw the, like, the prices of some of those shoes and the fucking sheer state of those shoes. I'm like, Crazy, how, it? like, it's almost like they've gone, let's see how fucking stupid these lot really are. Mate, yeah, and let's yeah. just make inflatable fucking bubble shoes and yeah. charge you 500 quid. <laughs> but we'll put a video on TikTok of someone wearing them and then everybody and someone will do it. Yeah. Get someone from Love Island wearing it. Fucking <laughs> jobs are good. One. I seen a thing the other day. Has, have any of you ever watched the film uh, Idiocracy? No. It's uh, it's an American film. I think it was made in the early 2000s. It's, it's called Idiocracy. I can't remember who it stars, but any, anyway, it's a comedy film. And it's about this bloke who um, he gets like frozen, cryogenically frozen by accident. And he wakes up in the future. But in the future in America, it's like only, you know, like natural selection, like only the dumbest people have passed on the genes. So when he wakes up in this future of America, everyone's just thick, like (laughs) thick dumb right and so sounds like grimsby yeah it's a bit like grimsby basically <laughs> um so basically the costume designer of the film right so this is early 2000s the costume designer of the film found these shoes that everyone would wear should, should wear in the film and um said to the director like i found these shoes what do you think i don't think anyone in the right mind would ever wear these shoes which suits because all these people are thick so the director's looking at them going, I like them, but what if they catch on? And the costume director's turned around and gone, they will never fucking catch on. You would have to be thick as fuck to wear them shoes. That's the point. Do you know what shoes they were? Balenciagas. Crocs. 
Oh, everyone's oh, wearing a Don If you watch that film, everyone's in a pair of Crocs. And this is, like I say, shot in the early 2000s. So the costume wow. designers looked at him and gone, no one's ever wearing that. Not a Do you chance. know what? I've been thinking about getting a pair of Crocs. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> do don't it, do it. Don't. I want oh, them just for the and This is getting even worse. I want them just for the gym. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking You can. Scum. You can. I have everything that I hate. <laughs> yeah. I've owned one pair of Crocs in my life and I felt horrible doing it. It was uh, me and my wife. Years and oh, years so you've ago. made one, one more pair of Crocs than me and Stevie. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And I regret it. Basically, we were in Florida, in Disneyland, Disney World, whatever. And it hurts your feet walking around there all day. We went to, like, the mall and we found these Crocs. That, and it was when Crocs were, like, still a bit shit. So when we were, like, like, three quid and now they're 60. Yeah, when we, we were, like, embarrassed to be wearing <laughs> them around the parks. But we did it because it, it saved our feet. And then they became, like, a a shoe that I put on to go and put the bins out or something like that. But yeah, they've gone long gone now. But now out. I think I was talking to to Emily and his wife about he loves them. the other week. Well, we were talking about them the other week. We were saying like, there was a pair that I really liked, but there was like 80 quid or something like that. If, it, if this was five years ago, there would have been but seven shoes. quid. Yeah. You would have been able to buy them in fucking Windsor's. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Remember Windsor's, that shoe yeah. shop? Yeah. yeah, but now they're just, they've just they're gone mental, aren't they? My kids my, love them. My, kids my best mate one. loves them. She's got every pair you could imagine. She's got little, um, like little ladybirds and stuff that you can put on them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah Gibbets. And Gibbets, they're called. I, well, it's bad that you know a word for them. <laughs> my kids, well. my kids have got them. My kids love them. Yeah, that's you know. Stephen, yeah, I I'm can't not a fan. wait. If we go back and do another series of Gallows Pole, I'm going to insist that the costume department get us all Crocs to wear. <laughs> 17th century Crocs. <laughs> 70, yeah, well, yeah, clog Crocs. Clog Crocs. Croc, clogs. That's, that's what they clog, are, aren't clog, they? The, the clogs, aren't they? Well, but essentially, yeah. Plastic. You became you quite attached to your on... clogs, didn't you? Uh, no, nah, did I? Did I? <laughs> I don't know. I fucking hated them. They was uncomfortable and loud. <laughs> you couldn't sneak up on anyone. When I'm on set, or when I'm any, wherever I'm anywhere, really, I like being cheeky and I like playing practical jokes. You can't do that with Crocs because you can't sneak anywhere. You, you know, like when you keg people, you can't with do that. With clogs, you mean? Cause you'll, cause yeah, you you'll shouldn't do that anymore. You, yeah, you can't do that. But <laughs> shit like that, you can never... I bet no you couldn't one, have done that on set anyway because we all had about 12 layers on. Yeah. Well, yeah. I reckon back in the in the 18th century when the gallows pole was set, nobody got kegged because well, do you know, there and coming up behind you. But do you know why? Why? Because like that, 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 like ankles would have been like, Taboo, weren't they? Like women's ankles, yeah. so they probably just lifted the skirt up a tiny bit and went woo. <laughs> How mad is it that we all used to keg each other when we were kids? Did we? I did. Did you used to keg your mates? Yeah, yeah but we had poppers on as well. So oh, yeah. if you have, remember poppers? No, yeah, poppers. poppers. I did have poppers. Yeah, man came all the way yeah. to the top as well. I did. Uh... Oh, with yeah. the buttons. Yeah, yeah. we're not we're nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah. all the way up. Ones used... <laughs> Yeah. God, how mad is that? Do you reckon kids still keg each other nowadays? Uh... I'd still keg an adult. If I if I had the opportunity, the <laughs> if I had the opportunity in Burger King and you were stood there, Andy, I would keg you. Definitely. Fair play, fair play. I'd uh what, I'd, I'd do you. Just for trying assault. to think of what other weird like fads like shit that we did when we was kids that now when you think back on are just like, what how, why did we do that to each other? Mm. Kegging was a good one. Alive, though. The what? Yeah. It's the wonder we're still alive. Yeah. Do you know what we like used to do? I can guarantee it? you now at 16, I were in gym with a full face of makeup. See, that's, that's yeah. yeah, that's the thing though. Working isn't it? on but, my glutes. But then that, like, because <laughs> nowadays kids, like, are young people. Like, I think now this is the first sort of generation that, like, they don't drink as much. They don't no. smoke. Well, everyone fucking vapes now, don't they? Nobody really smokes. But, like, they don't drink as much. They don't smoke. So... They're at, they are looking after themselves. I know they're spending obscene yeah, amounts cool of money on that. Yeah, it's cool to be healthy that. nowadays, isn't it? It's cool yeah. to be yeah. healthy. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah, it's yeah, good. But then, <clears throat> but then does that put added pressure on kids like who don't have like access me. to the gym or, or like people me. who just don't want to do it? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Does that then put pressure on them? Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because you kind of, there's, there's two stereotypes I can think of young people now. And one's the gym lot. And then the other sort of one is like sat on like the computers all day. Do you know what I mean? So there's there's a big yeah. gulf there, isn't there? That you know what I mean? How, How the gym? Field? 
Yeah, that's all I was doing when I was a kid. Same. You don't see kids at shop outside shops anymore getting drunk, do you? Like <laughs> no, you, you don't, don't say really. like it's a bad thing. I mean, well, I mean. Um, <laughs> we're back. The podcast. Yeah, we. I'll put a ad break there, so everyone's just heard now. Break technology. We unfortunately Can lost. Can we advertise uh, Stevie something from the gym, please? Can we advertise <laughs> protein shakes? Well, Acast, Acast decides all that, so it probably will be like fucking protein, Nando. <laughs> yeah. Do you like going to the gym though, Stevie? Do you like other than that? I do. Yeah, because I think. And it's this is another thing that winds me up as well <laughs> while we're on it. Um, oh, while we're on the fucking subject. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like if all of the different exercises and I, it winds me up when people put videos online taking the piss out of other people, you yeah. know, what they're oh, doing. Oh, yeah. 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 So that really that. winds me up. And I've seen a couple of instances in gym where I've seen like groups of people that sort of sneaky filming but he, it's not all right. And no, so no. I no one like should ever it. get video in the gym unless they're videoing themselves. Yeah, exactly. So there's been a couple of times where I felt a bit awkward, you know, especially if I'm trying something new. Because yeah. I'm not, I'm not a professional. I'm still trying to learn. You know what I mean? And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a predisposed people watcher in yeah. a non seedy way. I just want to put that out there for anybody that might be listening <laughs> that does go to my gym. I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> But, you know, like when you're watching other people and like their form and what they're doing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, to try and get a few yeah. tips. So I, I did it today like at the it. gym. I seen someone doing something and I was like, I'm, I'm going to do that next. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. But when videos go up and it, it's like, oh, no, you do this one, you do that one. And if you've got like medical conditions, like I've got PCOS, for instance, so there's certain exercises that are better for me than others. So you have to do your research a bit, but then you just... You do feel a bit put off sometimes. Yeah, so definitely. I think for me, I try and time what day I go, what times I go as well, you know, to avoid certain crowds of people. But yeah. I do enjoy it. You do feel better, don't you? Oh, you never ever walk out of the gym feeling worse. No. Yeah. So, you know, no. I do get a bit of a buzz out of it. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've actually thought about like I I, I could do with, with with going back to be honest. I I got well into running during COVID, well into it, loved it. It's never never I ran in my life. I, I was the same, like asthmatic, big lad, could never run. Um, but I just I just did the couch to five k, smashed that, and was like right and found yeah this yeah love. I remember that yeah yeah I found this love for running. Um, and I used to love going to the gym, but. The running kind of took over that, and I was like, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want a treadmill or whatever. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I've I've not run in a while, but I might yeah, kind of debate in the gym again. To be fair, Who knows? I did have a yeah, go at running, but I'm I'm definitely built for st- speed, and uh, I'm definitely built for strength, not speed. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, I'm all legs and arms. I look ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck what, it when you're running. I've got no coordination though, and I fell off back like Captain Jack. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you did, hang on, hang on, hang on. You did what, Stevie? I went off back of a treadmill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there a video anywhere? <laughs> yeah, that's no. why she's pissed off. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't do that anymore. But <laughs> yeah, I can't tell video and he went, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm off a spin bike and all. That. Like you fell off what? The, the spin, spin bike. bike? Oh, God. Yeah. How do you manage that? Because I got my foot stuck in pedal. Oh, oh and it keeps going round. No, so I was trying to get off. So you put your feet in, don't you? And you strap your feet in. Yeah. So I'd mm. swung one leg over trying to get off the thing, but my other foot was still stuck in, in pedal. When oh, ass over tip, just laid on floor like a beached <laughs> whale. Oh, so wow. The guy had to come and help me up. Couldn't help but piss himself laughing, but we are trying to hold it in to be nice. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> The wood drive ever gone back to that gym? Surely there must be some CCTV somewhere. Yeah. Surely you could make the call and make that happen. Yeah. I've never had anything really tragically embarrassing happen to me in the gym, I don't think. Yeah. But I do love going. I I absolutely love going to the gym. But it's um, like I'm I'm all all on the weightlifting now, though. Yeah. Are you 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 a runner or...? No, but I do a lot of cardio with um, football and golf and stuff, so I don't really do cardio at the gym. But I'm I'm like all or nothing. I've either got to be going for it and eating well and doing everything, or, or just not yeah. at all. So um, I've just well a couple of weeks back now, but I'm really enjoying it. I love it. 
gives me like a bit of a purpose for the day when I'm not and working. You, you, know what I mean? you really, you can really like get into it. I remember like a few years back that that article going around where you like you were going to the gym and you were like, oh yeah, hench. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I was you, looking you can... good before the wedding. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's it. Isn't it? I think that's it. When you have got a goal, right? I'm getting married, going yeah. on all day. Gonna, you know what I mean? That's what it was. Yeah. When I put that on, there were so many people commenting and saying, "He's definitely on steroids. He's on steroids." And I was reading, <laughs> and I was reading them, going, "Fucking pussy," because I, I knew I obviously wasn't. But for people to Which say that, I was speech. like, "Fucking what a compliment!" I was buzzing. But to be fair, it was a very, very well angled photo. I mean, I wasn't. <laughs> I, I mean, I did look absolutely shredded on the picture, but I, I've never been that shredded. <laughs> but, I, um, I do. So it's all right having a goal, but then I, I sack it off after. You know, if I'm only working, yeah, like if yeah. I've got an holiday. That's it. Then, so yeah. I'll do it up until my holiday, and then I think, all right, well, it's done now, and then I won't go back. Yeah, true. So, yeah, it needs true. to become part of like your your lifestyle. Routine. It needs to become part of your lifestyle, doesn't it? But the thing is, with especially with weight training and stuff, is like it's going to take if you're going and you're doing a weight routine. If you're, especially if you're doing two two body groups a day, say if you're doing back and biceps or chest and triceps or whatever, that's going to take you an hour every single time, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? If you're going to the gym, and that's a bit of an ask if you've been at work all day and whatnot. Yeah, so it's yeah. hard to try and fit that hour in. Do you know what I mean? The gym's hard yeah. to fit in anyway, I find. That's that's my biggest thing. I mean, even even like myself, like, you know, I don't work a nine to five, but like, you know, two kids and that, it's hard to kind of, it's probably an excuse, school isn't all day. It? It's hard to kind of find kids that, are at school so. all day. That's a that's no, nice but I have other <laughs> they literally fun. leave the house at like eight in the morning, <clears> which your wife takes him because you don't drive. All right, and then and then <laughs> you don't see him again until like three o'clock. <laughs> I know. So what are you doing with your day, Ander? Um, <laughs> knocking one out. It's just constantly, just constantly, just furiously. constantly rubbing it off. Yeah. Um, yeah, going for it. <laughs> no, I do, I do bits. I do, I do stuff. You know, I've got a, a production. Company. I do stuff. I, yeah, I, I, I stay busy. I stay busy. I <laughs> tell you what I do do, and I, and I signed up to it again during lockdown with the running and stuff. Um, the the Apple Fitness, the home workout things for me. When I get into them, they they really work for me as well. Like during COVID, me and the kids were doing was it uh, Joe Wicks you not think every that day? Joe Wicks. No, because it's dead. It like so sort of like half an hour. You put them on the TV. I've got weights and stuff at home that I can just kind of yeah get if on it works. With. If it works, but it sounds Keep similar to what Stevie well. was saying. It's, what? It sounds like what Stevie was saying before is like she's what's happened to just go with, like just exercising like you. You've gone to sleep and woke up twenty years later. How now it's all Apple and it's all this and it's all technological. Yeah. Whereas like people are just exercising in different ways. Do you know what I, I mean? Yeah, I guess that's the thing, isn't it? Like you say, like you know, but it I, has made it easier. Yeah, like for me, like you say, finding the time to go to the gym is hard. So if I can get up in the morning, bang an Apple workout on, but then I think the downside of that is sometimes I just you just don't because it's it. Do you know what I mean? When you go into the gym, it's it is like a a bit of a of an outing, isn't it? So it becomes a bit yeah, more get of a, you out of the house. Yeah. Where I just go, I oh, can't be asked with that today. It's too easily. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, you can't you wouldn't go into a gym and just sit down and play on your phone for an hour, would you? You've got to go and you've got to do it. Yeah. Because you're yeah. there. Don't know, there's Although, plenty of people that do that as well. Yeah, I was gonna say well, I've seen a few people that. do that as I've well. Just, yeah. I've let, I, 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 <clears throat> when I first started back at the gym recently, I went because I've been a mem been paying at pure gym for probably three years and been twice. <laughs> but I thought, right, I'll go back there, and 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 I, I did one one session, and I left. I was like, I'm going to a different gym because the it was a free for all with, with the weights. You've yeah. got one fucking dumbbells on the thing. The other ones upstairs yeah. in the ladies' changing rooms. You've got fucking <laughs> attachments that are just nowhere to be seen. You've got people who are just stood there talking like this. And then when you say, "Have you finished with that?" They just look at you like shit. I was like, I did half an hour, and I was like, I can't. I'm leaving this place. Yeah. So I yeah. think it depends on what what gym you go to yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, I've been to a, another one lately, like just a bodybuilding gym, and the difference and the culture was but massive. So much more respect. Yeah, yeah. Between... yeah, and they're there to do, you know, the guys in there, and I will say it was more male dominated the bodybuilding gym I was the only female in there and for some that could be put you know they could be put off a little bit by it yeah definitely. but considering all of the comments that I've made around being a little bit put off going to a commercial gym like pure it I felt better 
there and the, and the guys in there as well the more willing to say you know have you thought about doing it this way or have you tried this yeah, the more supportive yeah, yeah. and the culture is just completely different in a, in a gym mm. like that i found yeah i Loved i it. went to a little gym like that um a couple of years ago with a mate of mine it was in like a it was like a yeah, like a bodybuilder's one. It was in like a school, like a proper like, iron gym, man. Yeah, like just, just yeah. the bits. Yeah, yeah. But they do like it was old Gym's blokes, big equipment's old equipment's from eighties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stink. Oh, I love yeah. shit like that. Yeah, but it's proper. Well, like, that that is what a gym a is, done. isn't it? That's what yeah, a gym. Yeah, get the job done. And... Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that when when you're training or you you're doing something and someone comes up to you and says, "Oh, I hope you don't mind, but have you tried doing it a bit more like this and helps yeah. you form instead of just sitting and videoing you and taking the piss." Exactly. And I, f- I found also with like, with being recognizable, like th- there's times and a place to ask someone for a photo, but you don't ask someone for a picture in the gym whilst you're fucking sweating and shit like that. Right, you know what right. I mean? yeah, and I've yeah. got big fucking sweaty gooch and stuff with grey joggers on. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, do you mind having a selfie? Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of sweaty gooches. Yeah, let's move on to this subject. Speaking of sweaty gooches, you <laughs> this subject made me laugh. <laughs> but then that again, that just goes all back to the fashion and about how it has become the new thing. But take yeah, away, take away, Steve. Steve. Do, you, do you know what? Do you know why it started? Because I got trapped. I got trapped on a machine. Oh, I my mind's no. just gone elsewhere. Go on. No, you're right. Not by me own, by uh, someone what? else's. What you, what you, so what? I'm on this machine and I'm giving it this. Yeah. Um, you can't really see that. looks really weird from where I am. Okay. So I'm giving it this. Yeah. <laughs> Riding a horse. Yeah. yeah, was you on a horse? <laughs> I'm going to Barbados. You was on a camel. <laughs> So, but but they're quite low down, aren't they? So I'm I'm sat down and I'm yeah. I'm pumping away the machine, <laughs> and there were there were these two lovely looking girls, really really pretty, you know, beautiful bodies. You could tell that they they spent a lot of time at the gym. They, they really worked hard. Yeah. But they were stood right in front of me, having a full blown chat. One of them were having problems with a boyfriend, and you know they were going at it. They were deep in conversation, and I didn't want to interrupt. But then I were kind of just sat there and I couldn't get out because the the handle not handlebars whatever they are that you push the, yeah, you're still yeah. doing that <laughs> um, and I, so I couldn't get out but I was at, I was at crotch height so Ooh. but and then, then I didn't know where to put my face because <laughs> I'm crotch high to yeah. these two lovely ladies that had some very 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 small shorts on that were pulled up very 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 high in their waist yeah. <laughs> like this. That's that was my view, and I couldn't get away. But I didn't know where to look, <laughs> so I'm sat. And this... Just sat there, going up. Trying just... to look about. I felt really embarrassed because. <laughs> But it's everywhere you go in gym now, and again, I... it's the fashion. It's, thing. No, but it's, but... Not, it's not even just in the gym. No, it's not even yeah, just yeah, in the yeah. gym. It's when you're walking through the precinct in town, or when you're in Asda, or yeah. But I, I mean, even even Charlotte, she wears gym 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 leggings. Yeah. The gym leggings, but I mean, she she exercises a little bit, but not all the time when she's wearing a. I'm yeah. stuttering now because I know she can hear me. She'll be sat down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Glad I made him eat ass cream before he went yeah. on now. <laughs> I hope your ulcers oh, get you worse. Ice cream. Said. I thought you said ice cream. Oh, uh, well, in a Derby accent. <laughs> um, no, but Charlotte will wear gym, gym stuff when she's not going to the gym. Uh, but then I guess we all do. That's that's the fashion, isn't it? Like, and that's fine. But like, yeah. not, not wearing all gym stuff like that creates the issue of which Steve is on about, right? You can wear a pair of like. So, gym wearing gym clothes outside of the gym is one thing in it. But it's the way in which they're worn. And again, so how, it's like I've missed it. They're is very it, high up. Is that what it is? You pull it high up and it... Because if I pull my shorts high up, that creates, I don't know what you'd call it, a camel's fucking earlobe no, or something. A moose knuckle. <laughs> a moose knuckle. They call it moose a moose knuckle. A moose is moose. But a is that... So the, 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 the camel toe thing, then, it, that is... Um, that's on purpose then, right? For doing yeah. that. And as well on TikTok, I see <clears> it. You can get inserts 
that you put in to your undies. To make I shit you not, my friend. You, you pop them in and it creates, I keep doing this, you, it creates one for you. I'm having a look. Wow. Wow. Stop what Googling the, that. Don't what, Google what do that. What do I Google? Like <laughs> loose knuckle enhancer. <laughs> Snuckle and camel, camel toe enhancer. Ooh, that's camel great. toe so, insert. Try that. So <laughs> people, insert. so people, people uh, do it on purpose. Why? Oh my god, she's right. <laughs> Look, we can't see. Uh, oh wow, they can. There you go. That's Gold a men's hand. one. That's a men's and one. They're only five pounds twenty-two. So can you really afford not Rock to? Up. I mean, for that. Price. Wow, Shell, I've got your Christmas present <laughs> sorted. So what's the like? What? Because my mate was on about this oh the other day. Oh my god! He... <laughs> I need to get off Google. Sorry. <laughs> my my mate was on about this the other day. He works at right. Manchester Airport, and he was saying like the amount of people that you see going by, and like ninety percent. So it must be a fashion thing Isn't then. It? Like it's what's kind of because I know nowadays you can get like them can them leggings that you get. You can get ones that make your bum look better, can't you, and stuff like that. Yeah. Like they kind of. The way they're stitched, whatever kind of pulls your bum up. It takes like... more, more than leggings to do that to mine, they'll believe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I don't understand it. I get make, trying to make your bum look. I don't know. It's just. Is that a byproduct of Some that? Some things are supposed to be more private. Okay? I don't know. Just well, they're called I private parts. I don't though. know if that's. Well, I don't know if it's an age thing though. You know. Oh, yeah, okay. it's just. I mean, this is a, a big old. You can get. You can get caught up in all this shit, can't you? But um, yeah, I don't know what to say without sounding like a pig. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a strange I, one, isn't it? I mean, you saw thing, my Google search. Jesus. The thing we'll is, the thing is, isn't it? It's it's like anything. Like, are we, are we just that bit too old to like get that fashion? Do you know what I mean? Like, speak you for know. yourself, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> but I've like, ordered you know, one. <laughs> I, I can I can imagine <laughs> like you say like you know I used to wear basketball tops and stuff like that and like my dad would be like, "Fuck's he wearing them for?" And people wear. Do you know what I mean? Like. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Like it's a it's a fashion thing, but I guess yeah, with that it's kind of I don't know. It's yeah. having summer on show, and then I don't know. Yeah, because like some ladies don't wear bras, and that's like a that's like a empowerment thing, isn't it? It's like oh great, that's you know amazing, and obviously that comes with its own set of circumstances. But then yet that is it is it that is it like a a statement? Look at me. <laughs> I love how politically correct that was. That comes with its yeah. own set of circumstances. Pop a tiptoe around that, mate. Don't worry, you're not getting cancelled. You'll be sound. You'll be sound. Really this is our safe space. As I call yeah. it, it's the, the be, Rachel I, from I, Friends I am on board look. with the no bra thing. Yeah. But she wore a bra in that. But she always had very know. prominent just really cold fingers, didn't she? Oh, right, okay, okay. Nips. Yeah, she always had, she always had nip-ons, didn't she? Yeah, apparently we just cold. All the time, now? Rachel from Fred Jennifer well, Aniston. Now. Oh, I'm just oh, thinking: okay. is it is it something like that? Is it like a well, you know, you shouldn't be looking, which you shouldn't, you know. Yeah, but when well, in your case, when you, you, couldn't, you couldn't machine, help, you... but but not right. I, I, honest, if I could have taken my eyeballs out and lobbed them, <clears> I would have done because I felt so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> because, yeah, do you know? Because you don't want to stare, do you? No, but then. You can't help but then it. you are also intrigued. I love that. It's your face <laughs> when you do it, Stevie. It's so innocent. So innocent. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fashion's crazy. I still wear the same clothes as I wore when I was like 14, I'm sure. Just a little bit bigger. Probably the same, same size and all, Tomo. <laughs> Probably is, yeah. I've still got my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is taking a weird turn, hasn't it? <laughs> um, but- <laughs> I think I think I think we're we're sort of getting on on for on for wrapping up anyway. But um, quick before one of us gets on. cancelled, let's end this shit. <laughs> yeah. End um, it all bad before bits it's out. Even started. <laughs> what's what I'd like to know, Steve? Eh? Um, what's what's next for you then? Obviously, like because you this is this is the 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 strange thing in it because we, we us three here all had the same in. We all literally had the same like way into into this weird world. But we, me and Tomo had it when we were like kids. Do you know what I mean? So that's I think that's yeah. the difference between yeah. us. Like yeah. you know, we we got so found. We had an excuse if we fuck it up. <laughs> You've got no excuse. What's um? What's 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 next for you? Do you, do you have you got have you got an agent now? Have you, are you like I feel like Graham Norton now? 
<laughs> What's next for you? Have you got um, an agent hey, now? Hey, hey. <laughs> Um, probably no after this podcast. So yeah. let's just be careful as to what going out. Um, but no, I have I have got an agent. Um, so uh, I linked up with my agent a little while ago now. Um, and it is weird because you know I'm an old lady in comparison to to when you guys started. Um, yeah, Samuel so Jackson was like fifty when he started. Oh, was he really young? He was really old. Every when time he you've told me that Samuel L. Jackson's gotten older. So I think it was like 36 when the first time you told me. And now he's like, <laughs> he was old. He was old anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's weird because because I'm just I have a normal job. You know, I have a normal, you know, nine to five job. So trying to feel you around feel your way around a, an entirely different world and a different yeah. industry. When you've got reservations at you know, it's at 36, it's weird. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a good go. I think yeah, it's... it's tough. It's tough, but you're too good to not give it a go. Mate. Yeah. And it's, like, and it's not just, and now it's not just Shane telling you you're good and, and mm. me and, and soccer and everyone on set. Like you said, the, it's the world is now, the, everyone else has seen it and everyone's saying the same thing. So yeah. like, and you, and you've got such a good agent as well that most people who have been actors and drama school for, for years would give their left yeah, leg to be okay. with your agent well yeah. you're not you, you you're where you are because you deserve it mate so yeah like you you smashed it on on, on gallows <laughs> you know what i mean and going back to what you said there like I, I genuinely think like that could be uh that could work for you in a better way like me and tomo have been doing this since we were kids and like we're so i'm 32 33 next month so we're not far off your age um, and yeah. like for me, getting into it at 15, that's it then. Like, that's, you know, I've, I, I've got to be doing this, I've got to be doing that. By the sounds of it, you've got a career outside of this. So it's like, you know, if the parts come, brilliant, and I'm sure they will. But if they don't, it's like, well, do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's, it's different. Do you, get, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's... it definitely is. And I think that's the difference in sort of coming in as a first time we're onto onto a job as big as that with a director as big as that. Yeah, because, yeah. Because you know, I, I do have a. It's only about this big. He's tiny. Yeah, it's not very big. Tiny. At all. Was he wearing clogs as well? Oh, is that what he was? <laughs> Imagine. Mm. Shane's coming. Oh, if there's a season two, that's got to happen. <laughs> get get Shane in clogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. waiting to see him in it, but Love he never that. really does that anymore, does he? But I thought he, he he's in it. Was he? Was he? Was he, was he in one of the? He's in every episode. Is there? Is he in the bars, the pubs, or something? No, you're not. Oh. Well, I'll not ruin it. I mean, if you know this, Stevie, have you seen it? I think we might have lost Stevie. Well, we've lost her again. She's had enough. Oh no, where's she? Oh, back? No, she's back. There we go. Hiya. Did you spot Shane in the episodes, Stevie? No, and oh, I only no. found out off. No, I only <laughs> found out on Instagram that he's one that's doing dancing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in the credits, okay, on, um, at the end of is every, the at the end or the beginning, oh, he's one of the stagmen right. dancing around. I think ah. it's the, the end, isn't it? I think so. Nice. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, so... I didn't know that. Because I like that about like Shane, because he always used to put himself in everything, didn't he? Like he always mm-hmm. used to have a little cameo. I think he did one in This Is England, the film, but it got cut. He was it was the chippy owner. What chippy owner? Yeah, he? What, yeah, he worked on the chippy. I've got um, the ice cream in my mouth. Stop putting yeah, ice cream in my mouth. <laughs> um, but that got cut. But he's still technically in that kind of world, so that makes sense. But yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that, isn't it? Then because I was kind of watching, thinking, would he? Because you'd be tempted to with that one, wouldn't you? Because it's so period and so fun, mm. and especially like it was all improv, wasn't it? Uh, gallows. Mm-hmm. I remember looking at one of your scripts. I might get shot by a BBC sniper now for saying that, but I remember looking at one <laughs> no, of your. I will. You'll You'll be all right. It's mean as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember looking at one of your scripts, and it was like three pages long. Like, yeah, but the whole episode was like yeah. four pages or something. It was nothing, is it? That's crazy. Because yeah. obviously, this hey, is Stevie. Improv, that's going to be but... weird when you go on to a, let's say, a proper job, and Ooh, yeah. like you've got full on scripts. I mean, it's it's yeah. it, it's easy, but it's like. That that's I've gonna be interesting. You've, you've been doing self tapes, well. yeah, yeah, and that it's really hard. And I think I think because I knew no different when we did gallows and it and it was all improv. It 
that were just as it came out. Yeah. Mm. But then I've been doing self tapes with scripts, and I'm like, Jesus. It's How do you find ranked. being able to, because of the, excuse me, the process of what we did with Gallows and all our Shane works all the time is, you get all the time in the world to create your character, but with a self tape, you get. 35 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? How did you find that? The turnaround on them is really quick, isn't it? So mm. you get you know, like you get one, say Friday, and they say, right, we want it by whatever yeah. date. So the turnaround. Oh, on them is really was you quick. going to the Arctic Monkeys this weekend? No, you fucking not. Yeah. You're doing a self tape. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The amount of times that happens, Stevie, is like oh, you've got mate. a weekend yeah. plan, and then your agent rings and saying you've got you've got to learn a fucking Bosnian accent by Monday, and you've got to do 20 pages off book. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. But yeah, oh, you so are the turnaround is like really quick. Yeah, but you are actually going to the Arctic Monkeys on Friday. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. That'll be good. That'll be good. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, you're man. gonna get so mobbed excited. there, mate. <clears throat> you're gonna yeah, get you will. Yeah, you will. <laughs> I yeah, I you think, will. I think they're there to see bigger fish. To be honest, mate. Oh, you're yeah, all a big you'll fish now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Right, well, we'll let you crack on then. Go finish your super noodles. Um, pick them off your t-shirt. <laughs> we were saying just before, I rang Stevie just before, and I was like, I'm making super noodles because I've got a poorly mouth, so I can't eat solid food. And she was like, I just had super noodles. So I spilled them <laughs> on my top. <laughs> See, I had to go get like... changed. <laughs> oh, super mate, noodles are right, changed for us. Oh, mate, thank you so much, Stevie. It's uh, it's lovely to meet you as well. Um, thank yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me, lads. No, Legend, no. Cheers for that, Stevie. Yeah, nice one. I'll take care. All right, see you later, bye.